It's nice to come your way once again from baby child egg. Have you heard this sound before? It goes like, hip. I think you may have. That is a hiccup, and that is what we are talking about today. Subscribe to our channel. And when you subscribe, also hit the notification button so that when we upload videos, you will get to see them. So we are talking about hiccups. Hiccups are these sounds produced when the diaphragm contracts on its own. The diaphragm is a muscle underneath the ribcage of the baby and ourselves as well. So the diaphragm contracts on its own. Air is sucked into the baby's throat. And as the air goes in, the vocal cords shut and they produce that sound. Hic! That we are talking about. Hiccups are common in babies less than a year old. In fact, hiccups even happen when the babies are in the womb. You may have felt that as a pregnant mother. And they do not harm the babies at all. But it can be distressing to some parents and they bring it to the attention of the healthcare provider. That is why we are talking about it today. Experts don't really agree on what causes the hiccups. Some people think that hiccups are caused by eating too much or eating too fast or swallowing too much air. But whatever causes it, what we know is that hiccups do not harm the baby. Hiccups don't last long. So if you want to control the hiccups, all you need to do is to wait it out. They don't last long. Seconds to a few minutes, the baby is done hiccuping. Sometimes this baby is hiccuping, the baby is smiling all over the place. The baby is happy. So don't be worried about it. If they bother you, one of the things you can do is to burp your baby well. So a burp is you hold the baby um, on your shoulder, the chest and tummy against your shoulder, and you rub the back gently, or you tap a few times, and then they are able to bring up their air. Sometimes when you burp them, they regurgitate a bit. We've talked about that in the previous video. It's nothing to worry about. It's not the same as vomiting. So if you want to control the hiccups or prevent them, you can burp your baby as well. Sometimes just rubbing the back of the baby is enough. Sometimes you put the babies against your shoulder. They don't burp. But when you lay them on your thighs, you raise one thigh a bit above the other, where the baby's head side is. And then you just pass them gently. They may be able to bring up the air. And then you have burped your baby. Sometimes as well, you need to pay attention to the latch of the baby. When the baby is breastfeeding, it's not only the nipple of the breast that should be in the baby's mouth. The areola, that is the black part beyond the nipple, should also go into the baby's mouth. And when the latch is good, when the areola is in the mouth, then the babies don't swallow as much air. Like I said, some experts think that hiccups are from babies swallowing too much air when they are feeding. Then listen to your baby's hunger cues. Watch and see what your baby does when your baby is hungry. Because when you let them get too hungry, they feed so vigorously. And in feeding like that, they may swallow a lot more air. And it may make the hiccups come. So these are the things that you can do about the baby's hiccups. Most important is to just wait it out because the babies are not harmed by the hiccups. What are the things you should not do? Do not startle your baby to make the hiccup go away. Don't startle the baby because that is not what is going to make the hiccup away, go away. And you may be just frightening the baby unnecessarily. Sometimes they throw the babies up and catch them. Hmm. That's one, if you are not careful, your baby can actually land on the floor and then you have caused a problem to your baby. Don't press on the baby's fontanel to make the hiccup go away. It is not treatment for hiccup. Hiccups are harmless, they don't last long. If you can just wait it out, wait it out, please. Don't pull the baby's tongue, don't press the baby's eyeball. People do all sorts of things like these ones to make sure that the hiccups go away. But the most important thing for you to remember is that the hiccups are harmless, so you don't need to do anything about them. If you are using a bottle to feed your baby, you should also pay attention to the size of the nipple because if the nipple is too large, it also makes the baby not feed well, they gulp too much air. If the nipple is too small as well, the baby struggle too much, and in doing so, too, they gulp too much air, and that will make the hiccups worse for you. So we have talked about hiccups. We have said that it really happens without the baby's control. 
it's out of the baby's control. It doesn't harm your baby. Your baby is hiccuping away, but it's growing very well. It's happy. It's smiling. You don't need to do anything about it. That is hiccups for you. Thank you for watching this video. Have you subscribed? Please subscribe to our channel. Visit our blog and join the Parenting Club. Thank you. See you again. Bye.